Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be talking about my top seven best beginner niche fragrances. If you haven't tried any niche fragrances before, you've only had clone fragrances, you've only had designer fragrances, and you're looking to step into the world of niche fragrances, these seven are safe enough, and in my opinion, the perfect kind of bridge uh, where they're not too kind of outgoing, stuff like um, Overture Man, uh, stuff like Figment Man, which have uh, very mixed reactions. Instead of those ones, I thought I would include some nice, not safe, they are very good quality, uh, and they will get you nice reactions, but they're different enough where you can tell that they are niche fragrances, whilst kind of dipping their toe into still being like kind of in the designer realm. So the seven on this list, I think are a perfect kind of bridge between the two. But we are gonna have a little look at that in just a minute. Before we do, if you guys are new to the channel, please don't forget to drop a like on this video. Please don't forget to subscribe as well if you are a fan of fragrances. We'll grow in a really nice community and we'd be more than happy to have you on there. So with that said, we are gonna kick things off with the number seven spot. This one, I've included lower down on the list because it's the only one that I feel someone might not enjoy too much. And the reason why is there is a kind of um, almost powdery note in there that uh, sometimes could put people off. But from my opinion, uh, I'd probably say about 80% of people are gonna enjoy this one and enjoy it a lot. And this one is from the House of Zerjoff. I absolutely love this one. It's got a really nice citrusy uh, lemon or lime in there. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, but it's so refreshing, it's so fresh, it's perfect for the summertime. And it's this one here, Zerjoff Renaissance. So, like I said, this has got a very citrusy note in here. I think it is lemon. I think it's a nice, uh, like an Almalfi lemon or something like that. It's also got the main note of mint, so it's very refreshing. Oh, man. Yeah. I can see this working perfectly if you live in a hot country. You could wear this any time in a hot country. It's like a blast of citrus. Uh, and the mint in here. The mint makes it really green, uh, which I think is where it gets like an almost kind of a powdery smell from, is from the mint. And sometimes that could turn people off, but I think this is perfect for the summertime and a perfect beginner fragrance because of how fresh it is. So coming in at the number seven spot is Zerjoff Renaissance. Coming in at the number six spot, this one is a little bit more wearable, a little bit more safe, and it is still fresh. And this to me is a marine citrus smell. So. Like we said with Zerjoff Renaissance, that one has got the main note of the lemon. And this one is no different. It does still have the note of lemon in here, the fresh lemon. And it's this one here from the house of Mansera and it's French Riviera. So in my opinion, Mansera are one of the best uh, beginner niche fragrances because first of all, the price, you can get a really good price for most Manseras. You can get most of these 120 mil as well for under 80 pounds in the UK. And the quality of them uh, is a lot better in some cases than designer fragrances. <sighs> French Riviera is no different. Whenever I smell this, it just smells like a fresh sea breeze uh, with lemon, with tangerine. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of Aqua Omara by um, Bulgari, which I talk about a lot. It's a very good discontinued designer fragrance. This one's similar. It does good uh, in terms of the same like projection longevity and it's just a really good beginner fragrance just because of how light and how fresh it is. Another great one for the summer. And actually, speaking about lemon and speaking about the House of Monsera, I'm just gonna quickly show you this one as well. This one, again, is another great uh, starter one, and it's Aoud Lemon Mint, or Oud Lemon Mint. I don't know how, how they're gonna pronounce it, but this one here, Aoud Lemon Mint, or Oud Lemon Mint, really cool bottle design. This one again is just fresh and clean. <laughs> to me, this smells like, you know the little like wall um, room sprays that you plug into the wall? It reminds me a little bit of that, like a uh, air freshener. And it is still a great beginner uh, niche fragrance. But for me, I would probably say get a French Riviera uh, as opposed to AU Lemon Mint. Or thinking about it, I actually don't actually have a bottle of it, but Sidrap Boise is another great one as well. Uh, all, any from the House of Mansera, a good cheap uh, niche fragrances. So coming in at the number six spot is French Riviera or Aoud Lemon Mint or Cedrat Boise. Okay, so coming in at the number five spot, this one again is a fresh clean fragrance. This is perfect for the office and it's from the house of Casa Marati, uh, which is also uh, like a sister brand of uh, Zerjoff. It's basically the exact same house. And it's this one here, Fiero. 
So Fiero, like what the bottle looks like, it's very fresh, it's very green. Uh, it's perfect, like I said, for an office setting or daily wear. Let's smell it real quick. It's so bright, it's so uplifting, and it's got the main note of lemongrass in here, so it's got like a fresh uh, green grassy smell. It's also very likeable as well. I get really good compliments with this one, very good reactions. Uh, it's just nothing that you can really dislike. If you like the smell of freshly cut grass, then you'll really like this one. So coming in at the number five spot is Fiero by Casamarati. Actually, sorry, that one was the number four spot. So coming in at the number four spot is Casamarati. So this was four. Um, Aude Lemon Mint was five. French Riviera was six. And Zerjov Renaissance was at the number seven spot. Okay, so coming in at the number three spot, this one is compared to a very popular niche fragrance, uh, which again, I um, could recommend it to you, Creed Aventus. But the one I am going to recommend to you is in the very similar ballpark, same with Cedrat Boise, to Creed Aventus. It has got the same uh, vibe as this one, but it goes off in a different direction. Something I feel is a little bit more wearable uh, than Creed Aventus. It's got a very muskiness to it. Uh, this one does just as good. It's from the house of Nishane, and it's Hasavat. So Hasavat, it's got the exact same opening with the musky pineapple smell. But after the kind of hour mark, this thing kind of dries down into a more fruitier, softer version uh, of Creed Aventus. So it's perfect for a beginner uh, if you are looking for Creed Aventus for a little bit of a cheaper price. Uh, this thing is just as good. It does get really, really good reactions, especially in the first hour. The performance of this thing is great as well. And I don't know, it's just like a slightly more wearable version of Aventus, I'd say. Yeah, that pineapple and oak moss note in here are just so similar to Aventus, it's scary. Uh, but coming in at the number three spot is Nishane Hasavat. Okay, coming in at the number two spot, I really wanted to include this one at the number one spot uh, because it's from my favourite fragrance house, but I didn't want to be too biased because I know at the number one spot is just, it has to be the perfect niche fragrance. So coming in at the number two spot, it's from the House of Amouage. It's the most talked about one from the house uh, and for good reason because it is very, very good. It's so likeable. I can't see anyone really disliking this. And it's this one here. You can see how much I've worn of it. And it's Reflection Man by Anwaj. So Reflection Man just smells uh, clean, fresh. Uh, it's got a kind of... Oh, man. Oh, that is good. It has got a lot of white florals in here. And don't let that put you off because it is very soft. It's very fresh. Uh, it's quite like a little bit like dryer sheets, um, but just done in a better way. To me, if I can describe this, this is like the niche version of Prada Lom, but a little bit softer and a little bit more kind of uh, subtly more sweet as well. Probably the second most versatile one on this list, apart from the number one spot. Uh, it's just great. I just love this one so much. You can see how much I've worn of this fragrance and I've also decanted it as well, I'll be honest. But it is so good for a beginner. I can't recommend this one enough. Uh, this, again, is probably my... Uh, highest recommendation of an Amouage fragrance that I can give you. Amouage is just a great niche house as well uh, and this one's just a great kind of a starter Amouage fragrance too. So coming in at the number two spot is Reflection Man. This one is also perfect for a signature scent. So if you only want one niche fragrance or if you only want one fragrance for the rest of your life, I would probably recommend you this one uh, if you like it as much as I do. Coming at the number two spot is Reflection Man. And just before we get on with the number one spot, guys, remember, please don't forget to drop a like on this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. And in the first line in the description, then there will be links to decants of all these fragrances if you only wanted to try a two mil, a five mil, or a 10 mil of all these fragrances. Okay, so coming in at the number one spot, this one had to be in here. This one is just the perfect beginner niche fragrance. It is so, so likable. I don't think anyone can dislike this fragrance. I've talked to so many people and they just absolutely love this fragrance. I've not had anyone ever say that they dislike it. Uh, it's probably the safest one on the list. It gets the best compliments. Uh, it's from a really nice house uh, from Creed, and it matches my hoodie. It's this one here, Creed's Green Irish Tweed. This one came out in 1980. You've probably smelled the DNA of this before if you ever smelled something like Davidoff Cool Water. Uh, that is very similar to this one. It's by the same perfumer, actually. Green Irish Tweed just takes it to another level. It's so green. It's so fresh. It's so green. It just reminds me of, like, freshly cut grass. It's like the perfect kind of old money scent. 
uh, and it's just so perfect, so versatile. You can wear it anywhere. And like I said, I get great reactions with this thing. If you only want one fragrance for the rest of your life, this, again, is another great shout for that. And funnily enough, I've had clones of this fragrance. I've had stuff like Tre Nui. Uh, I have had Cool Water in the past. I've had um, Laventure Night I've tried, like a little sample of it. And even though they're similar, there's nothing like the real thing. A few years ago, I decided, look, why do I have to buy Creed fragrances whenever I can just get clones that smell very similar? But I was like, man, I smelt this again. I'm like, okay, if I actually want this fragrance uh, or something to resemble it, I'm gonna have to get the real deal. And I do not regret buying this. Even though there's so many clones out about it, I do not regret buying this. It's perfect for the springtime, uh, but you could wear it all year round as well. So coming in at the number one spot, had to be here, Creed's Green Irish Tweed. Okay, so that is going to do it for this video, guys. Remember, as always, don't forget to drop a like on this video. Please don't forget to subscribe as well. Let me know down in the comments below what your top three recommendations would be for a beginner uh, who's actually getting into niche fragrances. What would you What would you suggest them? Let me know down in the comments below. As I said, we're Reflection Man. I actually decant this fragrance, and because of decanting, it has actually helped me grow my fragrance collection and my niche fragrances to over 70, 80 fragrances in the space of, well, under a year, basically. And the reason how I've managed to do that is from decanting these fragrances. And I actually have a fragrance course that teaches you step by step by step how to actually decant your fragrances and how to actually buy a bunch of them without any of your own costs. So if that sounds like something that would interest you, it's only £10 and there is a link in the description as well. So that's enough of the shameless plugs. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.